Hi, Jason here from TGN. Alright, so today we're going to have a continuation of our video for introduction the E10 M20 T1. Alright, so the T1 is for the RG4510 G port, but the main purpose of this is just to have not only the add on for the 10G connectivity, but also to add on two M.2 SSDs. Alright, so for today's video, we're going to show you how to install two M.2 SSDs onto the card itself. Alright. So this one mainly is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so I will go through with you what are some of the things to look out for. All right. As usual, we already knew that what are the things that are inside the box itself. You have your quick installation guide. Okay, you have your heat sinks and your stickers. So there are numbers. You have to follow through. There's one and two. Okay, and followed by all the screws that are provided for you to hold on to the M.2. Now this is the main heat sink itself. Okay, be very careful. Right, so this is the main heat sink, and it basically has two lengths. All right, for today's purpose, we will be using the 2280. Okay, and of course, if you have, you can also purchase the 22110, which is slightly longer with additional power capacitor. Okay, and we have already mentioned in our previous video as to what are the differences. Okay, so let's take a look at the card itself. Let me put this aside. Okay, so let me remove the sticker. All right, so this is a new card. Okay. So over here on the card itself, we have the short cover, alright. So the long cover is also in the box itself, which you can see. Okay, so there's the connectors here for the SSDs, okay. And let me remove the SSDs out from the box itself. Right, so these are the Synology SSDs. Okay, so these are the 400G M.2s, okay. Alright, so as you're placing it in, be careful and make sure that you know where are your teeth. Okay, so there are the hole here, alright, which is in line. And there you see you have slot 1 and slot 2. Okay, so all you have to do is just slide in from an angle like so. Okay, and make sure you poke it in. Alright, you slide it in. Of course, it will still come out a little bit slightly. All you have to do is just press it down like gently, like so. Okay. But before doing that, all right, all you have to do is make sure that you prepare all your connectors. Okay, so you're gonna have one of these connectors here. Okay, and the next one is you gotta make sure that you have the screws. Okay, now prior to doing all this, be sure to stand by and prepare your heat sinks. Okay, for because this is only a demonstration, all right, we will be using this actually. You have to make sure that you follow the instructions that are provided to install the heatsink onto the SSD itself. Okay, you gotta install all the stickers, okay, and also the heatsink to cool off. Okay, these are the cooling off material. Okay, so you gotta put this at the bottom. Okay, so that it comes up and appears so. And you have to secure it down. Like so. Okay. Alright. So once you have secured it, what's going to happen next is you're going to install the heat sink, okay? So which I'm not going to do now, okay? I'm just going to give you a short demonstration, all right? You got to add in the heat sink, okay? Be sure that the Synology word is in sync, okay? Once it is done, all you have to do is screw in the four screws like so, and once you have done that, okay? You will securely hold the SSDs in place. And the heat sink should appear as a flush. Okay, you should not see any bumps. Alright, you should not see any bumps at all. And after you've done it, open up your rack storage or your desk DS model and plug it in. Alright. Once you plug it in, the unit will boot it up. Once it's booted up, you recognize both the RJ45 port 10G and the SSD. And all you have to do is just assign the SSD caching memory to one of the volumes, which will be used for the caching for one of the volumes. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us in the comment section. Uh, so if you like the video, please remember to click like. And if you do like our channel, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.